Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta love this frame rate. Ah, oh, this is so hot right now. It's so hot and juicy. Oh, you're, oh, I'm loving it so much. It's turning me on. Ah! Ah! Ah, I'm getting frame rate attacks! Oh no! Oh god! Are we, are we cool? Are we cool? Minecraft, are we good? Are we good, Minecraft? Oh, we best to be cool. Oh man. Oh yeah. Aha. Oh my god, yes. All right, all right. I think we're good. We think we're good. But anyway, why the? F Honestly, do not get this. But anyway, what's going on, people? Second blank here. How you guys doing? I like to welcome you all to my little humble abode right here. It is a. God, hold on. Dog, shut the fuck up. God. Recording and shit. Can't be fucking barking around here while I'm fucking talking to people. People that are looking at this in the future. Yeah. People from the future are looking at you right now. How does that make you fucking feel? Yeah. Fucking mind fuck you fucking dogs. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that, people. What's going on? This is my little humble abode that I made on one, um... One of these worlds I created, I created multiple worlds, just playing around, toying around with Minecraft, and um, I actually had this game for like a good portion of maybe like more than two years, I think, a little, like a little less, a little more than over two years, but um, I have not been playing with this game at all for the for those two years I've actually owned this, and it's surprising because there is so much things I could have done with over over those two years that could have made you know this world even awesomer you know if I started early it would have been like surrounded by monuments of my greatness like over there somewhere uh, you know over there oh fuck <laughs> this is me breaking fucking shit yeah but anyway <laughs> yeah you know over there would have been like a monument to my greatness maybe a big ass title of my name so I could blank will be over there but you know I don't. I, I haven't been t I haven't been playing around with this game all so much. I'm actually kind of sad that I haven't because, you know, I would have made great inventions by now over over the things that have been updated in this game. And it's only up until recently that you know I saw a few Minecraft videos out there in the internet that made me say, you know what, I want to revisit this game. So here I am back in the swing of things, and made this little world out of nothing. So I jumped in the creative mode and created all this. And so far, it looks pretty okay. You know, I made the whole checkerboard floor, made it, you know, regular checkerboard here, and like, I guess, inverted checkerboard or like negative checkerboard. I don't know if there's such things as negative checkerboard, but yeah, that's what I made there. Let me go ahead and replace that fucking window because I'm fucking OCD and I can't fucking handle not having everything perfect. Yeah. So, I wanted to give you guys a little tour of my place, and not only do that, but also to show you a few inventions I picked up from the um, YouTube slash internets, and maybe display them, maybe like showcase them for you guys in case you guys are actually looking for such an inventions, and I'll link you like the, vi the video or article that I saw it on, and maybe you guys can figure out how to make it, but I'm here just to demonstrate you know, some of the things that I picked up and incorporated into this world that I think you guys would actually enjoy. So, let's go ahead and start with the main place, which is the, I guess it's like the living slash bedroom. You can see my, my little palace style, you know, bed here. It's, of course, it's the queen, you know, queen size bed, because fucking king size would be like this fucking big, and then like the boards would be like around here somewhere, and I fucking hate beds like that. I can't handle king size beds. They fucking look too fat on the side. And like the same, almost close to the same length as a queen size. So I made it just a queen size. It's actually pretty cool. And I made a few of these. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't personally make any of these fucking pictures. But I spawned some of these pictures out here. Of course, this one being my favorite because I name. I guess this kind of like interests me to see like a pig fucking being here. So I decided to give it a nickname that's actually inspired by a different... Uh, person that saw this and go, oh wow, fucking hell, it's Abraham Hamilton. <laughs> so yeah, this is an ode to Abraham Hamilton. Yeah. Ah. Uh, in fact, I should spawn a pig here. 
So it could be a real ode to Abraham Hamilton. Let's see. Guys, you're going to have a fucking friend. Buy him, pig. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. So there you go. Abraham Hamilton, it's to you. Oh, that looks pretty. And of course, we see all this crazy, crazy randomness around here. Now, over here, we got the storage room where I will basically keep things in these chests. These will, of course, be labeled at some given point in time. But just right now, I haven't had anything to put in these chests as of yet. But uh, when I actually put this in survival and start, you know, gathering up some resources on my own instead of having the cheap-ass creative mode give me all this good shit, you know, it'll be filled up to the brim with good shit and crappy shit. And over here, it's actually an invention of my own. I, I had like an on and off switch for lights. So, as you can see, the lights are off. Once you flip the switch, though, lights turn back on. Usually, when I turn this on, it's for the nighttime. When it gets too dark, I don't want things to spawn in, like fucking monsters and shit like that. But I think right now it's daytime. And I don't. I think there's enough light in here for it to not spawn anything. I At least I hope there is enough light. That's why I had all these windows here. And, of course, the random paintings that are on the wall. Now, over here, of course, we have the pet's balcony, which basically houses all the pets that I will be putting here within my adventures that I will start off pretty soon. So, over here, we got the little three doggies right here that will shut the fuck up, and the newly spawned pig that is now doubly named Abraham Hamilton. And uh, hopefully by the next update on Minecraft, we're going to be able to separate these fucking doggies into fucking different colors. So I can kind of name them by the color. Right now they're all red collar. So I think the newest update is going to be able for me to change the, co the color of the collars. Yeah, it's like a, almost like a tongue twister there for a second. But anyway, hopefully we can do that and then we can separate these two or separate or I, sh I should say differentiate the fucking animals from here. But anyway. That's going to be soon to come. Now here is an invention that I actually picked up from the, um, from a YouTuber that's, that pretty much is kind of well known in the Minecraft community. I don't know if, if some of you guys know. Um, I'm trying to remember the name right off the bat. I think it was MC Minecraft. I don't remember the name per se, but I think it's MC Minecraft. I think that's the name. I'm not entirely sure. I may be mixing up the fucking letters here for a second, but I actually will put the actual name of the person in the annotation on the screen right now displaying this invention which is basically a 3 by 3 wall door so let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean so when you come over here and push the button it creates a 3 by 3 door wall or wall door and of course I made it checkerboard so as to match you know the floor so the carpet matches the door I wanted to say drapes, but you know, Minecraft hasn't invented drapes yet. Fucking hell, they should get on that shit. But, you know, once they have fucking drapes, I'm gonna fucking cover this whole window with drapes. Make it look fucking awesome. But anyway, this is controlled by this button right here. So, it's a toggle button. So, if you push the button again, it'll open up and let you walk outside. Of course, it's only a one way button. I don't wanna have a two way button here because obviously people that are not from my fucking neck of the woods can just stroll on in and you know open the door by the outside and come on in I don't want that shit if I'm in here I want to protect my shit locking that shit up nice and tight right of course I want to have something that's you know more indestructible material than fucking yarn but uh, if I ever do have like a server for example I think I'll make it so people can't just come in here strolling on in so let's go ahead and keep on going now over here is the lobby. It's basically supposed to design. It was basically designed in order to showcase the four types of wood that is available in the Minecraft world. Now I know for a fact that this is the jungle um, biome, especially when it comes to um, ooh, 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 dragon frames. But when it comes to uh, the jungle biome, you see the vines that are coming out here, plus the jungle trees in which you can climb up. This actually was full of vines, but I had to trim it a little bit so it doesn't get fucking unruly as shit here. But uh, I tried to design it so it would be like nice and natural. Of course, it's not natural at all because, well, fuck, it's being separated by uh, redstone laps, which is to illuminate the lobby so it doesn't get too dark out here and things start to spawn out of fucking nowhere. So we got that. We got the uh, oak wood over here. 
course you guys know this is the most common enough wood in the Minecraft world but uh, I want oh shit uh, okay welcome to your new home but uh, <laughs> anyway this is the the most common enough wood that you see in the Minecraft world and actually as you can tell right now we are not on the fucking floor at all we are high up in the sky and uh, in fact we're actually above a fucking mountain right now which is where I built this lobby slash island in the sky which is on top of a fucking mountain. So, yeah, this is why I, I created this um, lobby slash nature place because I wanted to at least display a little bit of nature in the Minecraft uh, world, especially when a lobby is full of like mechanical stuff like golden blocks and redstone lamps and stuff like that, and you know, converted wood and stone. We needed some, you know, we need some color. We need some color up here, and you know, the Minecraft world is full of color, so why not display it? But anyway, we got that, plus we got the, I think this is spruce, spruce wood, if the, I, I believe that's what it's called. Um, I haven't seen this too often, it's, I think it's around the Christmas, or not Christmas, but winter biomes, where it's like snowy. Um, I haven't encountered any of those biomes yet in this world, but hopefully I will pretty soon. And, I, and the name of this wood really escapes me right now, but it's one of those common woods you see in the swamp world. And in fact, if you go around your minecraft world you see more swamps than you see more than you see uh, the regular woods over here which is pretty strange but you know that's what tends to happen sometimes but anyway i know you guys are wondering well since you're hiding the fucking ground how the fuck do you get from point a in the ground floor to point b up in the sky and that is thanks to this little invention here that is called a zipper elevator so right now the zipper elevator is um, designed to go only up until you come up to the very top and push this button right here which is designed to make you go down to the ground floor now I would showcase to you how this zipper elevator works but there is a bit of a problem because the fact of the matter is things like this is powered by redstone torches and depending on how your graphical rendering is if your graphics don't render fast enough then the, then the redstone um, torches pulse you're gonna be able to get you're gonna easily get stuck in the elevator which tends to happen a lot especially with my computer because we I don't have enough I don't have the greatest graphical rendering in the world when it comes to running things like having redstone pulse through fucking like 100 miles per hour which tends to fucking happen but uh, I can basically show you what it's like to actually at least go down the elevator which is one of the more easier things to do in the zipper elevator so let me go ahead and step inside and you see that this is a fixed point in the zipper elevator. This actually serves a purpose, not just for illumination. So let me go ahead and press the button right here. And as you see, you're tending, you're going down here, and you get to step out. So there you go, the zipper elevator. It's great to go down; is a pain in the ass to go up. In which case, I made instructions on how to get. Um, to get through the zipper elevator without having, or at least having few fewer problems than you would, you know, having it any other way. But uh, I actually will send you a link to this um, zipper elevator by um, a YouTube commentator that's named, I believe, O Whiteout. But it was actually inspired by a different um, YouTuber, which I will also link to on the annotation in the screen right now. So I'm going to display both of those guys. The original creator will be in the right and the... Uh, the youtuber that featured this design will be on the left so yeah I want you to go ahead and take a look at those two guys they made a fantastic piece of redstone um, elevator artwork also another thing I wanted to show you guys was my little library which is right now under construction I really wanted to um, show you guys when this was finished but you know what might as well just show you this right now now the library will you know usually be off limits if I ever create this world in, or if I ever um, convert this world into a um, server world because this is uh, limited to people who are um, basically full-time users in the in the server world but you know for the purposes of you know just having a single player might as well be able to make it come inside whenever we please right and uh, over here is actually when we can do our enchantments so we can come in here and open up the enchantment book and chant whatever the fuck it is we want to enchant, which is usually, you know, armor or weaponry. In which case we don't have any, so we're not going to try to enchant anything. But of course, this is not going to be, you know, just as easily ex uh, accessible to everybody. It's actually it was going to be covered in a maze that I actually started constructing on this side first. 
And at the end of each maze is going to be a chest here that's going to have some prominent items inside that are usually rare or usually crap items that you see commonly in the world. And of course, under construction, so it's not anything great. I uh, haven't put anything in these chests as of yet, but once the uh, maze is completed, I will fill up these chests and we're going to have some fun in here. So yeah, that is the library. Let's go ahead and get out of here. So the last thing I wanted to uh, tell you guys was actually to show you this little piece of machinery right here over here. And um, as of right now, what you're looking at does not exist, all right? This is like fucking Agent Smith, or not Agent Smith, but like um, a government CIA agent telling you what you saw here did not happen, right? But I'm giving you a short glimpse of what this is. And this is actually a piece of machinery that I actually want to complete. And it's actually close to completion that I actually ever thought it would be. But the problem is, uh, to actually feature the full functionality of this machine right here, I actually need a single pulse randomizer. Which means is that this machine runs on the pulse of a redstone. So what I want to do was to have a randomizer put over here in which it only fires out one redstone pulse and goes into four um, separate outputs, which in turn act uh, activates something within this piece of machine. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the machine is all about, nor get to full detail of what is in the machine. But the thing is, I need the randomizer really, really badly. So, keeping that in mind, if you guys out there who are redstone experts or are a whiz at looking through stuff on the internet like articles or novels or, or anything like that, have an idea of what I'm talking about here, please let me know in the comments below in the inboxes. I really need a randomizer really, really bad because I really want to show off this, this piece of machinery right here so much so that I'm willing to just say fuck it and just show you guys the thing behind this. But I can't. Because that will ruin the surprise. And as much as I would love to ruin you know, the magic that is this machine, I can't do that to you guys. I need to really, really have that randomizer for this machine. So, again, something that I need for this machine is a randomizer that only shoots one redstone pulse into one of the four outputs of this machine. So that's what I need. If you guys know what I'm talking about and able to construct or recommend me one um, randomizer schematic, please let me know in the comments below or in the inboxes and I will take a look at it. And if it actually functions the way that I want it to, I actually will feature you on the next Minecraft video showing the completed version of this machine right here. So I won't get into, for, into much detail about it, but just know that this is going to be something that is probably not showcased often enough in the Minecraft world. So I'm hoping that this will be one of the breakthroughs for you guys. And, well guys, it's been a blast, but as you can see, it's still night time and this guy needs to fucking sleep. So let's go ahead and head back home. Behave, door. Yep, it's time to go home, relax with my new found piggy, Abraham Hamilton, and my three doggies. Oh yeah. I wish you good night, Abraham Hamilton. I want you so bad. <laughs> so, if you guys have any questions about this level, about anything that I showed you in this video, please let me know in the comments below or in the inboxes, and I'll answer accordingly. But I will see you guys later. Please enjoy your day slash eating whenever you're watching this. This is Second Blank. Same peace out. Later Gators.